All right, so I want to make this is a queen battle of battle first aid responder services. So I'm going to make one more last video today before I leave here in Boston. I'm going to introduce myself right quickly. I'm listening to my, my other videos. Uh, my name is LaQueen Battle. I'm a certified medical assistant, adult and pediatric first aid for the American Heart Association, a community health advocate for COVID-19 awareness. As well, I'm a previous United States Army Reserves veteran served in Seagullville, Texas, uh, back about a couple years after the 9-11 invasion, 9-11 uh, attacks on the World Trade Center in New York. So I'm very happy to be here today. I'm going to talk about this and make this really quick and easy, okay? Uh, it's insulting. It could be racist. It could be whatever you want it to be. It could be a religious issue. It could be a spiritual issue. It could be culture, whatever it is. But I want to address this issue. When somebody asks me or asks anybody in general, male or female, if somebody asks you in general, bear with me, they ask you, what is your job? What is your job? Okay, so I think I think it's very, very important for the whole uh, community to be involved about what's going on right now and overseas and um, Afghanistan for us to be involved uh, to help out support community um, uh, programs out there, nonprofits, NGOs, whoever's working overseas to help out people. But here, domestically in the United States, we want to give them support efforts. We want to support our troops. We want to donate to them. So I think that's fine to do that overseas. But here, myself, being a a single young woman here on the streets of Boston, is difficult when somebody asks you, "What is your job?" What is your job? It's a very difficult question because you are trying to explain just explain to people that I don't have to tell you who I am. I don't have to tell you what I'm doing. I'm just going about my life. What I'm doing is really of no, no business to you and is of no concern. But beyond that, people choose to get involved in your business and somehow make sure that it affects them and but in reality it doesn't so when people for me it's really insulting when somebody asks me what is your job or who are they trying to be what is your job what is your job are you are a job you are a job it's really insulting okay It can be racist, it can be prejudiced, it can be KKK, it can be whoever you want it to be. You are a job, what is your job? Okay? I am who I am, and I don't have to change who I am based on who you think I am or who I want to be. Okay? I'm going to say that again. I am who I am, and I don't have to change who I am based on what you want me to be. So I don't care what kind of job you think I am. I don't care if you think I'm a job or not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your opinion of who I am, of what my family is, of who I am or where I'm going to go. It doesn't matter. It's really insulting for somebody to say, ask you, what is your job? Because they're trying to put barriers and blocks in your path in every single decision that you make, in every single way that you make, in order for you to do exactly what they want you to be, want you to do. Or they could be like, what is your job? Like, I don't know this person. Well, I, you grew up with me, yes, but at the same time, though, I've changed. And sometimes people refuse to accept change. People refuse to accept change. They refuse to accept that you have changed in your life for the better, and you don't need them anymore. 
you don't need that person anymore. And so people, sometimes it insults them. And you're like, you don't need me anymore? Yes, that's right. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. Like, oh, am I a job to you? And there's nobody here in the terminal, which is kind of quiet on a Sunday night. <laughs> So a lot of the public has to deal with a lot of this COVID related as well as people in general, people that don't want to accept the fact, okay, that you have changed, that your life has changed. They're like, you've changed, you've changed. Yes, I've changed. You just need to accept the fact that I've changed and get over it. When people ask you, what is your job? So I'm talking to you on my YouTube platform as well as a lot of, a lot of other issues I'm dealing with. It's really, really insulting. Um, I know I'm talking, I, I sound cute. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I sound cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Oh yeah, I sound really cute. I sound great. I sound cute. But it's a serious issue and it needs to be addressed. And sometimes, you know, it has to deal with a lot of domestic violence as well as verbal abuse. And it can even turn into physical abuse. Where, uh, where you're dealing with a lot of fi family violence. family violence issues they they refuse to accept the fact that you are not like them or that you have changed your life for the better and you don't need them anymore or you will never get what you want Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching this right now on live TV. I thank you, Lord, that when you walk through the green field of my life, it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. People call you a job, and a spiritual. God says, God's word says, He says, I have predestined your life. God says, I have predestined you and ordered your life. Beyond whatever anybody's gone through or any kind of experiences or abuses that you've been through, he has predestined you to be called and ordered in his kingdom. That's what God's word says. That's what God's word says. He says, I have predestined you and ordered you and created you to be called. That's what God's word says. What is your job? What is your job? That means they want you to fail at whatever you're doing. What is your job? What is your job? That is so, so insulting. The racist thing I have ever heard in my life. What is your job? And then on top of that, they have people from your past to come to try to look at you and look at you, your physical characteristics, and identify, is this the same person? Has this person changed? What happened? They're not the same person that I used to know. What is your job? Father, our 
lives are better. Our lives are worse. You guys just send me any comments or thoughts or concerns about when somebody asks you the question, what is your job? Or you are a job. It's not a works behavior. Keeping 39 Sabbath laws or getting your life together. It's to believe in Jesus Christ, his son, the savior of the world, the Lord of the Sabbath. It's the most insulting thing I have ever heard in my life. Everything around you begins to crumble and people keep insinuating you and asking you, what is your job? What is your job? What is your job? What is your job? Are you a witch? Are you a doctor? Are you a magician? Are you a prostitute? Who are you? What is your job? What is your job? I know Stephen Furtick's talking right now at Elevation Church. Pastor Stephen Furtick, what is your job? God says, I have, I have things in order. I have ordered you. I've called you for such a time as this. That's what God's word says. You are my chosen one. You are mine. That's what God's word says. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's very insulting and demeaning. One of the most horrible things for people to, to ask you, what is your job? You are nobody. You don't exist. And you always be a nobody. So who are you and why are you trying to approach me? I'm done with you. I'm through with you. What is your job? And who are you now? I'm done with you. I'm through with you. Is <laughs> it is insulting. The one of the most insulting things to hear for somebody to ask you, what is your job? And everything that you do is based on that person's perception about you. And that perce person's perception doesn't change, but your behavior may change. You may move to city to city, but still that person's perception does not change. It is steadfast and fixed that you will always be what I want you to be, and it won't change. I don't matter how old you get or where you go. You will always be the same and you won't change. It's sad. <laughs> but anyway, it's Sunday night. It's late. It's 1135. I just want to talk to you guys and let me know your thoughts, opinions, okay? About when somebody asks you, what is your job? Okay, so this is the clean battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. I love you guys. Please keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Please donate to me. Cash up Venmo PayPal, Battle First Aid Responder Services, as well as email me at battlefirstaid at iCloud.com. That's B A T T L E, the number one, S T A I D at iCloud.com. All right, love you guys.